So in today's meeting, I'm going to do a live trading section with you, okay? And majorly what I'm going to trade here is features, okay? So I'm going to be using Binance and then um, the Meta Features bot to be able to carry out this trade, okay? And the essence of this is for you to learn from it and be able to follow up, all right? So um, basically that is what we're going to do, place the trade and after that, um, you can go ahead and ask your questions, all right? So um, to actually carry out this trade, basic thing we need to do, remember I told you um, in the previous meeting, if you are new um, here, what uh, MetaFishers does is that, MetaFishers is a bot that is used to trade features on Binance, okay? It is a bot that you can use to trade features on Binance and there are basically three ways of using this bot, okay? Number one is the automated mode, which you can use any of these two bots, okay? The super bot, which is um, pretty much fast, but to use the super bot, you need um, $10,000 in your account to be able to use this, okay? And then you need the edge bot, okay? The edge bot can, you can start trading with as little as $100, okay? This one does the market trading automatically for you, all right? So whether you are using the edge board or the super board, it does the trading automatically for you. You don't need to select anything. You don't need to set the take profit or stop loss and the rest. But if you have up to $10,000, then the super board is the best option because the profit that the super board makes is more, um, is faster and consistent, okay? As compared to the edge board that will be trading, in most cases, just one, one coin for you can be looking for opportunity to either take profit in the market for you, okay? So you can set up this, depending on the size of your trading um, uh, balance, you can set up any of these and you are good to go, okay? So if you don't use the super board, you use the edge board. And then the other option is you can manually start trading. Manually means that you can leverage on the coin that is listed on this top 10 gainers. Okay, if you click on this one, it switched it back to the top, top 10 losers and they'll just leverage on it. When I click on this, it gives us signals, okay? So I can just leverage on this and use it to you know, trade the market and so on. That is exactly what I'm going to do with you this evening. But before I do that, we need to carry out a setting since we are going to manually select a coin and then go ahead and decide whether we want to buy or want to sell, whether we want to short or want to long the market, okay? So to do that, if I come in here to this option, okay, this first option here, the icon that was click on it, it brings us to this page. And on this page, we want to go to the settings. Okay, this is where the settings is. So you click on that setting icon, it takes you to the setting. Now the setting, you are going to tell the board what exactly you want to do, the amount of risks you want to take and so on. Okay, so here I can come in here and say the cost. Okay, this is what I want to risk per trade. Whenever I enter the trade, the first amount I want to risk is this amount, which is $10. Then you go ahead and select the leverage. With the, um, the, the, the meta features bot, you can only trade the highest leverage you can trade is 10x leverage, okay? But currently we are using 5x. So if you are just starting up, now when we talk about leverage, we are simply saying the amount of money. If you have $1,000, for instance, and you are using 5x leverage, if you want to raise the whole of that $1,000 to trade, it means that you are borrowing additional, like you are getting five times the amount of money you have to be able to enter the market. That is what leverage is. So if it is 5X, it means that you are making, you are getting five times the amount of money you have. If it is 10X, you are getting 10 times the amount of money you have. If it is 2X, you are getting two times the amount of money you have, okay? So this way, if I have $1,000 and I open a position for $1,000, it means that, I am going to be profiting if the market moves in 1% or 2% ROE. I am going to be making 2% of, instead of $1,000, I'm going to be making 2% of how much now? $5,000, all right? So if I use 10X, instead of making 2% of uh, $1,000, I will now be making 2% of $10,000 and so on, okay? So the more leverage you use, the more profit you make within a shorter period of time and equally note, Please take note, you are using leverage. In as much as you can make money in a very short period of time, you can equally lose your money in a very short period of time, okay? 
That is why it is good you do some of these technical analysis before you go into the market. All right, so that is it. And then I have a, an Excel sheet that contains all of these settings. So I wouldn't want to go through the settings again. Okay, and then I have videos that have explained everything about these settings. Okay, so if you need that Excel sheet, when you sign up for an account, we'll send you that Excel sheet and you can use it to you know, carry out all of the trading settings here. So after these settings, the next thing I want to do, since it's manual we are doing, if I come back to the home page, I want to use this uh, option to know which one I want to trade. First one we have here is the UNFI USDT. Okay, so if I click on the signal icon here, on the 15 minutes time frame, it is saying buy. On the 30 minutes time frame, it says buy. On the one hour time frame, it equally says buy. What about five minutes? Buy. And then one minute, it says sell. Okay, so this is what is, is giving us the bot is giving us a recommendation of buy, meaning that we can long the market. But if I click on the coin itself, all right. So I want to look at the chart and see how to make take my decision. Now on the 15 minutes time frame, you see that the board or this uh, coin actually shoot up to um, six dollars um, six dollars fifty cents. Okay, and now it has retraced back to around. It's currently trading at six dollars twenty nine cents. Okay. So that buy may not really work because if I've seen that buy when this candlestick was somewhere around here. I would have taken it and it would have made me profit, okay? And then the RSI, as you can see, is just 65, all right? It's, um, it's at 65 right now. Remember the overboard level is what? The overboard level is at some, uh, anything above 70, that is overboard level. Then oversold level is anything below 30, okay? That is using the RSI. I will explain that better when we go to Binance or trading view. Okay, so if I go to the one hour, um, if I click on the one hour time frame here, so you see that this market has been moving from here. So any moment from now, it will start retracing back. Okay. So um, instead of taking the buy signal that the bot gave us, I'm going to sell. All right. That is a reason for looking at the chart. Okay. So I'm going to sell. You see, um, in the previous shoot up, there's actually a resistance somewhere around here, okay? So there's every tendency that this port may, you know, be going downward. Um, this, um, uh, um, what's it called? This particular coin will be going down. The market may be dropping in any moment from now, okay? If I'm not sure yet, I can do both buy and sell, all right? Yes, I can do that, both buy and sell. And then when one goes in profit, it makes profit to a certain level, I'll close it and wait for, this one I want to make profit, right? So maybe that will be tutorial for another day. So what we can do is I have the option right now looking at it. Since I made up my mind already that I'm going to sell, I can just click on sell here and that will place a trade for me immediately. But before we go that, let's verify more on this, okay? So I'll go to my trading view. Um, when I open up trading view, I think I have that coin on my watch list, okay? So if I scroll down here, yes, this is the coin. The coin is here on my watch list, okay? So if I scroll down and open it up, okay? You see um, our RSI is showing 65 on the, this is on the four hours time frame, okay? So it actually um, started sending from here. It came to this average middle line here of the RSI and then it reverses back. So there is every tendency that it will come touched here and then it comes back again to the average line, all right? So um, that is exactly what I'm looking at. I can decide to short long this market and still make small profit before it start retracing back, but I just want to short it so that if this coin move forward, I'll buy more, all right? And then when it start coming down, um, it will just take me a little bit of time and I will make profit. But there is one thing I want you to take note, okay? Um, if by peradventure, I think this is the move, this kind of move that we saw here, all right? We just moved up up to, was it this one? There's one that if I go to the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, there is a move 
few days back, I think that was in June. Uh, was some, yes, this one, this candle, okay? This was on the, uh, let me check the date of this candle. This was on the 7th of June, all right? On the 7th of June, we just had this, you know, movement in the market where the coin moved all the way from $5 to around 40 something dollars in one day. And then that same day, okay, the next day, the coin and dropped, okay, to around $8, from $40 to around $8. So if this kind of move happened, there is every tendency that we may get liquidated if we don't have enough money to cover up the margins, okay, to cover up the margins. And that is one beautiful thing why I like using the board because of adding margin um, when the market start going up, okay? That add margin option is what one thing I love about the board. I will explain that once I, have, I place a trade. But I just want to see if in, in two hours, in three hours from now, I can make profit from this market, okay? That is why I'm looking at the four hours time frame. I'm looking at the four hours time frame, and then making my judgment from here. Okay, this market actually pulled up here. It came here, so it means that there is something here which we call resistance that is um, stopping it from going further. All right, and then it dropped back again. Now it is pulling up again, getting here again. You are seeing this long week down here. Okay, you see the long week down there. It means that the market could, you know, retrace back again before it pulls up. We can pull off from here, anything can happen, but I am sure that it will pull back a bit, okay, and make me some profit before it start going forward, all right? So um, one thing I want us to equally look at again is um, if I go back to that board, okay? So if I come back to this board, let's go by one step and then come in here to the coin. So I want to search for that coin. When I search for the UNFI, okay? One thing I want you to take note of here is this, where it says, this moves with BTC, all right? What the board is simply telling you that the price action of this particular coin moves with BTC, okay? It, it, the fact that it moves with BTC doesn't mean that there will, no, there will be no uh, manipulation in the market and just like what I just shared with you, where it moves from $5 to $40, okay? But this move with BTC, meaning that if BTC is shooting up, there is every probability that this coin will be following suit. And if it is going down, there's every probability that it will be going down with BTC as well. So if we come back to our trading view, we look at BTC, you see that this evening BTC has been doing very well, okay? Um, I think before I started this meeting, it was around 20,100 or there about 20,100. But right now you see that the price is currently at 20,400 plus. So I don't know how high this is gonna go, okay? If we look at it right now, I don't know how high this is gonna go, but I believe it will drop back a little and then continue that way again, all right? So uh, with all of this in mind, if I go to my Binance, let me equally check that on Binance. So all I can do on Binance is come to, um, I can come in here to the features, okay? Then go to the coin and type on it. Then I will search for that particular coin, the UNFI. Okay. Then I'll click on it and I'll go ahead and click on this chart option here. So once I click on the chart, it brings us to the Binance Coins chart. All right. So I have my RSI here. And the time frame I'm looking at this coin is 15 minutes. Okay. So I can go ahead and click on the one hour. I normally like, like to look at the one hour. You see that the one hour is trying to retrace back. I can look at the four hours as well, which is what we just saw, exactly the same thing we saw on, buy, on, buy, on the trading view, okay? So once I do this, I can go ahead and either click on, I can go ahead and click whether I want to buy or I want to short the market, okay? So once I'm satisfied with this, right now on the um, four hours time frame, okay, my RSI is showing 64, okay? It is showing 64 here, meaning that there is every tendency that this market will continue to shoot up, okay? 
it can only be overboard when this RSI is showing either 75, 72, 80, or thereabout. Okay. Um, so I have the option to equally buy or long this market. All right. All this what I've been talking. Remember, it was um, six dollars thirty something cent. Now it has dropped to six dollars two cent, um, twenty six cent or thereabout. So I would have started even making profit from it. So I just want to short. That is the decision I came or the conclusion I came to. I just want to short the market. So if I come in here to the board, um, I'll go ahead and click on this coin. I don't know how far it should go. Okay. So once I click on it, I can come down here. Remember, my first purchase price is going to be ten dollars. So if I want to, that the general setting I did is going to be ten dollars. But if I want to change the setting for this particular coin, okay. So if I scroll down here, I'll just click on the wheel icon here. All right. And whatever setting that I'm doing will be applied to this coin alone. This is what my general setting is, okay? But I want to change the F, the my uh, cost to $7, all right? So I want to change it to $7, meaning that since I'm using five times the money by using 5X leverage, I'll be getting $35. So if this market moves in my favor by 10X, 10% um, ROE means that I am going to be making 10% profit of $35, all right? But at the end of the day, because of the settings we did, I may end up doubling this money to, because if it goes in my favor, there is a setting I did there. If it goes in my favor, the board will continue to add money to make, to increase this, okay? To increase this. So at the end of the day, I'll be having like either 100, 200 or 400. So instead of just making profit of 35, I will end up making profit of 400, 500 and it goes on that way, okay? Then if my margin covers as well, depending on how many margins that covers for me, I will probably be making money. So this setting is particularly for this coin. I'll go ahead and click on confirm. And then I'll go ahead and click on sell short. Click on the red button that says sell short. And that is it. The trade has been placed, okay? So the trade has been placed. If I scroll down here and refresh, you see, um, let it refresh. Okay, let it refresh. Did the board take the trade? I guess it didn't take. Okay. Um, if I click on the coin again, oh. It did not take. What happened? What notification did I get? Let's say sell short. Booking position for sell short. What happened now? Why is it not displaying? Okay, I'm going to take it out. Okay, I'll quit the board. Okay, let me quit and then open it up again. Okay, so you see that the trade has been placed, or okay, and is already going in my favor. All right. Before I explain some of the things you see here to you, um, I will probably want to confirm that this trade is on my Binance. So now that I've placed that trade, if I come to Binance, once I come in here to Binance, I want to go to features, and here on features, you see where it says position okay so once we come in here to features you see where it says position it says one there all right it means that that trade will place has already been taking place um on the binance account okay so it has taken place i remember okay i guess that setting did not take place the setting the setting that i changed to one dollar seven dollars i guess was it seven dollars i changed to it didn't because what i'm seeing here is the ten dollars so you see the margin, this is what I'm actually risking in this trade, okay? And then because I am using 5X leverage, that will give me 10 times, um, the five times that amount of money. So 10 by five, that will be 50, all right? So this is where I will get liquidated. If this market gets to 270 something, I'll get liquidated, meaning that I'm gonna lose the money that I have here, okay? This is the market price. 
and then this is the mark, the current, the market, the entering price. Okay, so all of these are in the board. So I'll go back to the board and explain some of those things to you for you to understand. So once I come in here to my trade again, okay. So in as much as the trade keep going in my favor, you will see where it says unrealized PNL. Okay, this is the money I am making as profit in USDT. Then if it is showing red, if it is showing red and minus, it means that whatever is there is what you are losing. Okay, I can adjust my take profit. Remember, my take profit means that I will take profit. What you can see here is when this market, this um, point you are seeing here, okay, this 3.9 ROE, if it gets to 10, which is the take profit here, it will take profit for me. So if it moves from three to 10, okay, it automatically take profit for me. That is what the profit is here, all right? If I want to adjust that, I can just click on the pencil icon here to adjust the take profit. Okay, so I can either increase it just using this slider or decrease it. Okay, but already is on the 10% ROE. Once we finish, you just click on save and it will be saved. Okay, so that is it with the, the you know, take profit option. And I believe that this board will still make us profit. So if I come back here again, so the same thing I showed you on Binance, this is our entering price. The price at which you enter the market will enter at six dollars twenty seven cent and it has dropped to six dollars what twenty four cent. Okay, all right. So if it is going against us, you see the change in percentage. All right. Um, so it has increased by around sixty something percent. So this sixty nine percent now means that the sixty nine percent of the ten dollars we are risking is what you are seeing here. Okay. So if it goes against you, you probably see that here and it goes accordingly. But there is a feature here that is called same direction. If I send you the setting, you probably see it, same direction uh, margin call. When this goes in my favor, if this increases to 7%, automatically the board will automatically buy for me, okay? It automatically add more money for me to make me more profit because right now the profit I'm making with 3% is 3% of $50. So as it continues to go in my favor, it will be adding money. This will become hundred dollars. It will become one fifty. It will become two hundred. So at the end of the day, if the market moves by three percent, it will now be three percent, okay, of whatever we have here as profit. All right. So if I want to circle this market, I can use this option where it says one shot. The circling means that I am going to bed this night, and I want. If this market will continue to drop, I want the board to continue to pick trades for me. So if this goes in my favor, okay, by increasing by 10%, once the board takes profit, it will close that, okay, and then automatically initiate another trade immediately. It continues that way until the circle is completed. So if I go ahead and click on it, where it says one shot, I have clicked on it. So my circle setting is 100. I set my own settings to 100. So if I come down here, you see that it will tell you circle and then in bracket 100. So it means that this trade can circle this market for me or the board can circle this market for me for 100 times before this trade will automatically stop, all right? But I don't want to circle this. So I'll go ahead and click on the circle again and it will change it from circle to one shot. I just want to take profit once and exit the market because I am not sure the direction the market is going. I don't want to go and do circle and then at the end of the day, I'll get stuck somewhere, okay? Then you have add margin, okay? Add margin here, if I click on it, it has two options. If I click on the add margin, it has add margin for liquidation. So when you use this option, remember my liquidation price somewhere here is around, uh, 200, that means this coin needs to increase by 297 for me to get liquidated. So if you want to push this further, you go ahead and add margin, okay? This add margin, uh, add liquidation margin only affects your liquidation price, okay? It does not affect anything. Then we have the add average margin. Add average margin will affect my entering price and then equally affect my take profit level, okay? So if I add margin to this, the average margin, once I go ahead and add average margin to this, 
this will automatically increase. Let's say I want to add additional $50. So it will now increase from $50 uh, from $49, or so, which is supposed to be $10. Okay, it will now increase by five times of that $50 that I've added. Remember, we are using 5x leverage, right? That is what we are using. So it would have increased by five times, and those money will be showing up here, and I'll make profit. Then, if you want to close the pro the, the the position, you want to close this trade. For instance, I've made 27 cents. If I'm okay with it and I don't want it to hit my take profit, I'll just click on this twice and the trade will be closed and I would have made 27 cents in this market as profit, all right? So I just wanted you to get all of this, um, understand some of these things and know how you can actually start using it to implement your own trading if you want to. All right, so that is all I have for you this evening. Um, any other thing that will follow will be your questions that will help me throw more light on anything you don't understand, okay? So if you have a question, you have any contributions to make, um, you can just unmute yourself or use the chat section, unmute yourself or use the chat, uh, uh, the chat section. Yes, it's the emperor strategy, yes. It is the emperor strategy that I'm using. Uh, it's the same settings, okay, that you can actually use to do to, to your trading, okay? So you can unmute yourself and, you know, make your contributions or ask your questions. Yes, Gag, is it Gaga Billion? Gaga Billion. Go ahead, go ahead. And, yeah, yeah. Gaga Billions, yeah. So, yeah, my question is, uh, uh, the set is because I, I'm, I'm late to the meeting today. I'm, very, I'm, I'm late to the meeting. So, so I didn't see where you started the settings from. So I want to see the beginning of the settings of the Emperor strategy. If you want to, is it like, if you want to play, if you want to put it in one, one shot, is it composed that you put those number, number of orders, like 20 or 50, like the way it's illustrated on the, on the PDF? Yes, just do the, the one shot is not the either circle or one shot is not automatic. It is after you've placed your trade, you will not decide whether you want to circle it or you want to do one shot. Okay. So by default, it will just go with okay. one shot, one shot. So if you want to now circle it, it will not, you now not say, okay, yes, I want to circle it. You go ahead and circle it. I do have a cell sheet that contains those settings here. Okay. So okay. I have an Excel okay. sheet. I don't know if you can see it. No, can see it? I can see it. Um, can you see it now? Yeah, yeah. I am oh, sharing yeah, I my screen. Uh -huh. So all of the settings yeah. are contained here. Okay, and then the settings for the margin configuration is equally contained in the second page. So um, I will equally drop this um, on the chat again. Use this to actually go so now for okay. the, um, depending on the amount of money you have, you can use, you know, all of this. If you have 300, make your, my cost to be $5, okay? If you have uh, $400, $600, $500, okay. $700, and then 10, 10, 600 will be $10, all right? So you can just use these settings and okay. then put it into your board. You do the setting once, and then you can be using it to, to be trading as often as you okay, want. Okay, so... Can we get this? Can we get this on the group? Like, can we get this on, on the on the on the chat room so that we can copy? Like, yes, I will send it. it. I will send it to the. I will send it to the Telegram platform. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 All, all right. right. Then we'll be waiting. And it's please, right. my next question is that my next question is is, is about the, the about the uh, S I uh, R O S I, the way you illustrate like. I want to come again about the SRO. I like how to use the data of the, and the volumes. I want to I want to come back again because you said something very very very, very important when you were explaining it. So I want to I want to like I want to record again, please. Okay, so the way RSI is used in trading. Okay, in fact, RSI is one of the basic indi indicator that every trader makes use of because of. Uh, um, how close the, the RSI is to predicting the market, okay? 
So if I share my screen again, Okay. And then what I want to do is to go to trading view. All right. Um, Need to be patient. Sometimes trading view takes its time before it loads. Um, I prefer using trading view because of um, some of the features that it has. Okay, so if I do that with BTC, yeah. for instance, okay, if this is not working, let me share my desktop. Okay, so just try to follow up. The same thing that I would share on the desktop is the same thing you will see on. Uh, yeah, desktop. yeah. Uh -huh. So. Um, you can see my 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 computer, right? Okay. You can see my screen. I'm sharing my screen. Yes. Can anyone see? Yeah, very well. Okay. So this is my RSI here. Okay. Now the new RSI comes with two lines. If you don't want the two line, you can just go to the settings. So if I go to the RSI setting, the RSI base moving average line which is this one here, you can uncheck it. Okay, once I uncheck it, that goes on if you don't want it. Now we have the RSI upper band to be 70, and then we have the lower band as 30, okay? We have the RSI upper band as 70, and then the lower band as 30, which is this two line. This line you see here, this is the lower band, and then this is the upper band. Now the way, very simple, the way you use the RSI is that, what is telling you this line you are seeing here, the RSI line you are seeing here, moves with the market direction. If the market goes up, this is moving up. If it goes down, it is moving down. What this RSI is now saying is that whenever you are using this RSI and it goes above the upper bound, for instance, if I over over this one, you see that it even went from here up to 97, all right? So it went above the 70, which is the overboard yeah. level, up to 97. At this point in time, just make sure that you short the market because it will not go more than this. It, there's every tendency that the market will start reversing back. That is what it simply means, okay? This went up, all right? From here, it went above the upper bound, which is the 70 level. Okay. And if I over, over it, towards the right here, you see that it is 96. So it went above 70, above 80, and it went up to 90 something. So this is a good chance that yeah. you would have shot the market. And if you did, you see all of this move, okay? Let's say you enter yeah. the market somewhere at $40 or thereabout, and you shot the market and yeah. you remain in the it market until the point from $40 that it went to, till the coin get down to around $9. This is a whole lot mm. of money. Even if you have risked only $10 in it, this is a whole lot of money. That is what the RSI is used yeah. for. And another time you use the market to long the market is that you are waiting for the RSI to cross this 30 level. It means that your RSI must be showing 29, 27, 25, 20, or thereabout. Whenever this line is below, okay. that is when you now look for opportunity to long the market because there is every probability that the market will reverse back. But one thing you should know that market can remain at a certain level for 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 days or thereabout before it moves in a in a in, in a reversal direction. Okay? okay. So when it goes below 30, okay. you look for an opportunity to long the market. And when it goes above 70, you look for an opportunity to short the market. I don't know if you understand that. Uh, yes, I understand. I understand. So when is when is above 70 above, which means I have to short the market then when it's below 30. So 25, 20, then after you take long a long the market. Yes. Okay. Okay. So like this, this structure that is I'm seeing, is it is it is it an EMA uh, like EMA, EMA line or is it bullet jump? No, no, this this in, is called, especially like in the chart. No, the EMA line. Let me show you. If I turn off this one, this is the EMA. I only have one EMA, which is the two hundred. Okay. Um, not the two. Yes, the two hundred moving average line. 
Now, what I use this 200 moving average line is to determine the direction of the market. Okay. All right. So if um, I look okay. at the market yes. in with the four hours time frame, whenever this candlesticks are above this moving average line, I am looking for opportunity to long the market. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, the, but basically that is it. But this trade I just yes. opened as a short term trade. It's not like I'm going to leave it there. Maybe before the end of this Zoom meeting, I would have closed it and make profit. If not, what I would have done is that I would have allowed this trade, this okay. candlestick to retrace. When it touches this line, and I see that it's retracing yes. back again, just like what you're saying here. It went down here to the line, okay? It retraced just like yes. that. Once they are trading above this candlestick, you look for an opportunity to, you know, long and, and, and the rest. So you always long and long and long the market, okay? Then oh, the okay. other line that okay. I hit, um, this other line is called the pulling advance. Okay, this is the pulling advance. Okay. So this line, and you have the top, the upper band and the lower band as well. So the upper band serves as resistance, and then the lower band serves as uh, support. Why this one support, in the okay. middle here is the average. So the way this Bollinger bands works is that now that this coin is trading um, at the upper band level. There is every tendency that it will retrace back, just like it did. No. Yes. It was here, okay. It traded here at the bullion Java. So there is a resistance somewhere here, and then it retraced back. It didn't retrace to the support level, yeah. but it retraced to the average, which is the middle band here, the average line there, and then yes. it started reversing back. So it could continue this way, yeah. or it will still reverse back to this middle line, or even break it and get to the support somewhere around here. You understand? So uh, the Bollinger Band yeah. is equally another indicator you can use okay. to measure the market and so on. Wow, well, okay. We are not still, All right, so Julius, can we All right, so I, I, I will be waiting. I will be okay. waiting for, for, the, uh, for, the, for the PDF, please. All right, all right, all right. Hello, Mr. Good Jonah, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, well done, sir. Please. Can you can you put more light on this uh, one hour fifteen minute uh, fifteen one hour fifteen minute and uh, four hours? Please can you put more light on them? Okay, these are called time frames. Okay, time frames. Now it all depends on the kind of trade you want to go. Higher time frames mean that you want to stay in the market for um, a longer time. Lower time frames mean that you want to stay in the market for a shorter time. That is basically how you need to look at it. If I'm scalping the market, I use five minutes time frame and then the 15 minutes time frame. Now, if I click on the five minutes time frame, what it is telling you is that each candle that you see here, each of these candlesticks that you see here, let me uh, turn off these lines. So what it's simply saying is that this candlestick you are seeing here, it took this candlestick 15 minutes from when it opens, okay, and where it closes. Okay. It took this, so this big one, this bigger one, it took it 15 minutes from when it opens and when it, sorry, I'm on the five minutes time frame, okay? So it hmm. took five minutes from when this candlestick opened and when it closes. Even the smallest one, I think this red one is the smallest one of, of them all. This smallest one here, it equally means that it took it five minutes from when it opens and when it closes. So these are all five minutes candles. Uh, stick. If I hover over it, okay. Now, beneath it, can you see this line that is pointing below where you have the date? Yes. Now, the date there says 6th of July 2022, right? Yes. And the time is what? 6.05. That is 6.05. 18. 18 should be 6, right? Yes. 18.05. Yes. Now that mm. is 1805. It means that this open somewhere around you know between six o'clock to six o five. That is when it opens and when it closes. If I go to the next candle, what are you saying? 1810. You understand? So this is yeah. five, this is five, this is five, this is five, and it continues like that. If I go to the five um 15 minutes time frame, it means that each candle sticks here represent 15 minutes. Okay, the same okay. thing applies even if you are going to the daily or the four hours time frame. Each candlestick there represents a uh, that particular time frame you are currently analyzing the market with. So what we do is that we look at the longer time frame, the direction the market is going, 
the market could be bullish in the longer time frame, but in the shorter time frame, it will be going up and down because the market, Bitcoin moves like a snake or the crypto market moves like a snake. Mm. Okay? It doesn't go in one direction. So it will exactly. go up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down. So when you look at that on the 15 minutes time frame, you are simply saying, okay, I want to base my decision for the next 20 minutes based on the movement with the five minutes time frame. I want to trade and exit this market in the next one minute, in the next 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or one hour. Okay. So when you look at the direction and you see that, oh, the market, because the RSI equally changes based on the time frame you are going to. Okay. Right here, it is um, RSI is showing us um, 45. If I go to the 15 minutes time frame, RSI is showing 56, okay? So it all depends yeah. on the level at which you want to trade, but always look at the direction, the bigger the picture on the and, um, bigger time frame, and then you come to the shorter time frame and make your short-term decision. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, no problem. But all right. try and send out the excerpt, please. Yes, I will, I will. Uh, you know that last uh, volatility imparted on my account, so I'm trying to boost again to boost the account. Hmm. Sorry, sorry about that. But um, one thing I want, want to say here is that whenever a trade is going against you, okay, you should make a decision. The, the discipline is required when it comes to trading. Hmm. You cannot, you cannot fight the market. This is one thing we should all understand. You cannot fight the market. If you are risking hundred dollar in a trade. And out of that $100 you want to risk, you want to say, oh, if this market goes against me, if I'm saying minus $10 or minus $20, I won't continue. Once you see minus $20, close the trade. Mm. Because uh, another thing you can do is if you don't close the trade, you can open a trade in the opposite direction immediately. So that why this other one is incurring losses, this other one will be making profit for you. So mm. in that case, you will now come to the market and check, okay, there was a trade I opened that went against me. It was minus $320 in my account. Okay, I think Samuel That's is right. even here. Samuel equally shared a screenshot where his trade that is going, this same coin that I traded this night, he's still holding on to that trade. That trade went against him by minus 420, I'll be 460 <laughs> something. And he's still holding on to that rate. So what he would have done, okay, he would have opened, let's say when it was going against him by minus $10, he would have opened mm. a, a trade in the opposite direction. When he opens a trade in the opposite direction, it means that that op trade you're opening in the opposite direction would have been making you around 300, close to 400. Since this other one is minus 400, right? This other mm. one would have been plus 400. So when it is plus right. 400, when you do your plus and minus, you close the bull trade, you will still be making profit. If you mm. enter the trade at the same time, that is if you enter the trade at the same time. Alternatively, what you can do is that when it gets to that level, to a certain level, you close the, the one that is in profit. When you close the one that is in profit, you now use the money to boost this other one that is in loss to bring the market closer or your entering price closer to you. When it brings it closer to you, mm. I don't know. I will have to experiment that one of these days. Whenever I have a losing trade, I'll have to experiment that and show you how to get out of the market that is going against you faster. But to do that, you need money. You need capital in your account. If you don't have the capital, you'll not be able to do that. Yeah. So if you only have yeah. some money in your account and the trade is going against you by $10 against um, $20, $30 or thereabout, what you can do is you can just close the trade and open a trade in the opposite direction and you'll be able to make back that money. If you don't make times two of it, you make times three. If you don't make times three, you could even make half of that. If you don't recover what you lost today, tomorrow is another day, you come back again, okay? So don't try exactly. to fight the market exactly. and don't say, oh, I don't want to lose money because the more you say, I don't want to lose money, the more it, go, it goes closer to your liquidation. And when you get liquidated, you will now be losing more than what you were supposed to even lose. Mm -hmm. Yes. So always make sure that in, in every trade, you are ready to let go either $10, $20, or whatever. I, I personally do sustain trade for days. I had a trade that was going against me minus 200, minus, you know, two something. But 
surprisingly, that trade the next weekend, the next week, the trade was going in my favor, and I was able to, you know, make some money. Um, I think it was forty dollars. It closed at forty. It, once it entered forty, I just closed the trade. So from mm -hmm. minus two hundred and sixty, I, 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 it came back and I made some money. But one thing I'm saying is, if it goes against you by ten dollars, against you by twenty dollars, you can open in opposite direction, and you use that to um, you know, secure some profit for yourself before the trade will reverse back as well. Okay, no problem. Uh, right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Bumi, Bumi, can you unmute your mic? Sorry, um, are you saying anything? I can't hear you. Oh, okay, I can't hear you. Any other question? If there is no other question, then we should call it a day. Any other question? But uh, hello, sir. Sorry, yes, sir. Since Mr. Can you hear me? Okay, it's talking now. It's on. I'm yes, I can hear you now. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so I said I appreciate your, you know, your training that you have given us. All right. Thank you for appreciating me. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, based on listening to you, I've had some experience in trading, but listening to you just makes somebody to have more uh, understanding of, uh, you know, some of these things that we see. Uh, because trading is, um, you know, something that you just need to be very sure of what you are doing. Otherwise, you get um, uh, you get trashed, right? But your you know, your training has brought in some more understanding. You know, now for the you know, like I said, I heard about the edge bot. I just wanted to find out what uh, using the edge bot. What kind of um, uh, trading is that? Is it the one you call automatic or semi -auto or semi manual or something? I don't know what what do you classify that you know as. The the edge board is automatic trading. The edge board is automatic trading. It does if oh. the board select a coin that it to trade, it selects when to take profit, when to sell stop loss and the rest. So the edge board is automatic trading. The super board is equally automatic trading. Now why we do focus on teaching people how to use the board to do the semi trading is that instead of just holding on to the edge board that we now when you have five hundred dollars in your account with the semi trade we just want trade yes i did have um how much did i make today was it for the six dollars or thereabout so we just want trade you can make forty dollars you can make fifty dollars you can make twenty dollars but the edge board can hardly give you that amount of money with the same capital okay with the same capital, you can hardly make that ten dollars, twenty dollars a day with the edge board, because the edge board, you know, the 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 pace at which the edge board trades is very slow. The only board uh, that I would recommend anybody to use for the automatic right now is the the super board. Once it is made live on the, by next week or thereabout, if you have up to I think ten thousand dollars, and they are saying that um, if you have three thousand, you can. Okay, but the test run that they are doing now, the demo that is currently trading is with the 10,000. And the result that I've seen so far with that 10,000 is, is, is worth it. It's actually worth it. Yes, you can use that. So you can use that and just automate your trading and it goes on that way. But with the semi-manual, in my own personal opinion, with the semi-manual, you can still make more than what the Super Bowl will be making for you on a daily basis. You know, the board has been customized to trade safe, not to, you know, uh, use too much leverage, not to um, liquidate your accounts and the rest. So you see the, the yeah. super starting with like, you know, risking like $1 per trade, $2, per, and then gradually to be increasing it. But this is something you can just come and say, okay, I want to risk $100 in this, in this trade. For instance, this trade I just opened, 
that is ten dollar. Ten dollars is giving me around twenty-seven cents with just three percent or four percent move in the market. If I've made that three ten dollars, hundred dollars, that would have been you know you just equate it. If I'm what if I've made it like five hundred dollars in that trade within a short move in the market, you you make a lot of a whole lot of money from me. Most especially those of us who are Nigeria, yeah. if you make hundred dollar a day here, and it becomes something you do consistently on it every day. Let's say you have a capital of five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars in your account, and you consistently make ten hundred hundred dollars every day. You don't want to be greedy. That is why you should be making hundred dollars to ten thousand dollars every day. Ten hundred dollars is around sixty sixty something thousand in Nigeria on a daily basis. If you calculate that by thirty days or thereabout, you could be earning more than a director in a civil service office. Even if you are earning, if you are someone MD. Yes, now even if you are even doing them uh, constantly, thirty thirty dollars every day is something. It's something in this our economy. Exactly. It's something. Thirty dollars mm -hmm. every day in thirty days, you should be around nine hundred dollars or thereabout, which is close to five hundred k. So it's, yeah. it's 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 consistent. And one thing why people lose money is that you know when a trade goes against them, instead of saying okay, let me risk this ten dollars, twenty dollars, and leave the market, they don't want to. You can only do that when you have enough money. The board helps you to cover up those 50 margin calls that we have. Maybe one day we'll just take our time and just analyze what this margin call does. Those 50 margin calls, if you cover all of them, there is every probability that at the end of the day to go in your favor. But before you do that, you need money in your account. Okay? You need money in your account to be able to sustain that trade. You need money in your account. I have risks in the trade even before the board came. I have raised three thousand dollars just to make five hundred dollars. I have raised two thousand dollars just to make hundred dollars in a in a trade. And at the end of the day, I say, yeah. why not? It is worth it. You are making hundred dollars. Do you know what it means? So you must have enough money in your in your on standby to be able to cover up some of this uh, position, or maybe cover up the margin call when the market is going against you, and when it comes in your favor, you will definitely. Be making back, get back your money, and get some profit on top. That is one thing it I want us to do. Something that can... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, thank you very much because I wanted to ask initially whether because for people like us that may not have time, what do you what, what do you say? That was why I was asking whether the setting that you have, if that can also be used for, you know, for you know, for the edge board. Right, I just select a coin, I put it there, right, and the edge board trace for me so that when I have time, if I can maybe close that that the one on the edge, if I have time, I can sit down to analyze the market and pick a coin and then do semi manual trading. So that's why I was just trying to find out, you know, uh, how somebody can go about it with the semi manual. You know, does it, you know, for people like us that go to work in the morning, eight o'clock, you come back, you know, how can somebody manage? You know that thing, especially if you also want to monitor your trade. Um, if you don't have time and you have money, I would say wait for the super board to be made live and use the super board because the edge board. I won't lie to you. I have run those edge board on a three thousand dollars account. I've run the edge board on a one thousand dollars account. I've run the edge board on a four hundred dollars account. The results are not too amazing, but it does make you something on a daily basis. And then okay. the margin calls, it, it takes time before you can even cover up for the margin call. That is, is the board, the edge board is too slow when it comes to profit making. That is why I decided to say, oh, um, in my business schedule, I can, I do go out, okay, maybe like during um, break in the afternoon, if I yes. look at the market and I see opportunity, I take a trade. Taking the that is how it is called semi manual. Your own is just to pick that trade. Once you place the trade, you just leave it and allow the board to do, just put it on one shot and allow the board to do a trading for you and take profit for you. Okay. But when you see a coin that is going to move massively, yeah, let's say if, if, it, if Bitcoin starts moving right uh, now, what we okay, can I think do, I've uh, gotten. If, 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 if you see a coin that is moving massively in your direction, then you can do the, 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 the circle mode and go about your work. When you close from work this evening, you analyze your trade. If it is to close in manual, 
or take, you know, leave it for the next day, you can do that. You can do that. 